Hey, this is Jake here at Faraday Studios, home of Wizard, what number am I? Four. Four, four. Here with two of my wizards in training, and this is? Elliot. It's Elliot. Beckett. Beckett and Elliot. Gentlemen, you've got to help me because there are some people out there that call into question the veracity of one of our demonstrations. Can you imagine that? We got to be able to prove one of our demonstrations. And the demonstration, you know when we take a stream of air and put a ball up there like a beach ball and get it bouncing on a stream of air, right? Let's do that real quick, by the way. You know, blow that up. Well, that's loud, isn't it? So that's pretty cool. Why did the balloon stay up there? Because it was on the stream of air. There, stream of air, right? The hard part is, if you take that thing and you had it straight up and down, right? What happens if we tip it a little bit? So what do you think most people would say would happen? Most people would say fall off. Fall off. So let's see what happens. Okay, now here we go. Okay, Beckett, just slowly tip it. No, stay right there. Look at that, there's nothing underneath. There we go. I did not think it would do that. How would you explain that? And that's the activity we do. And when it's straight up and down, the air pressure is higher or lower or the same from the top to the bottom. Down here. Down here, because it's hitting it pretty hard, right? More pressure. And that's what holds it up. But when I tip it sideways, you'd think it'd either fall down, gravity pulling, or it'd fly off at least. What's holding it in place? It would have to be air pressure. Air pressure. There's no other explanation. Very good. Unless it's magic. Yeah, it could be magic. Magic or something like that. Actually, what happens is when this starts to fall, air rushes over the top. And when it's rushing sideways, it can't push down as much because it's too busy going that way. So it creates lift. It creates lift, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the air pressure in the room is pushing it up and holding it there. And that's what keeps it from falling. So what holds it right there instead of going... The air pressure on this side? Yeah, the air pressure on that side. Well, what's happening over on this side? It's rushing over and going wee. Yeah, rushing over. You can hear it going wee. wee. So how could we possibly demonstrate that there's different air pressures around that balloon? So the first thing I want to do is get you to think like a scientist. Right now we're setting in air, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We're sitting in there. And the question is, how much air? So you see that globe over there. Can you lift that and bring it over? Ladies and gentlemen, you heard a sunrise over there. Here it is. Here it is. Ah, oh, morning has broken. There it is. <laughs> so this piece of uh, cardboard right there, that's about as thick as the air is. Now, you think there's that layer of gas in there. Do you think it's equal all the way around? No. Probably not. Because they're like mountains and valleys. There's mountains and, and valleys. Stuff. And what else do you think? Is the ocean the same depth all the time? No. No. High pressure, that usually means good weather. Low pressure, ooh, here comes the rain. How's the weatherman measure air pressure when he talks about stuff? With the barometer. The barometer. We're going to use the stuff on this table to build not a barometer, but it's called a manometer. It comes from an old Greek term, manos metra, which means uh, measure thin. And the air is very thin. So we got some tubing and some colored water. I want to get some colored liquid in here. How do you think we should go about doing that? You could stick one in, in there and use it like a straw. Oh, look at this. You're good. All right, you, you got it in there? Oh, that's stopped. Okay, well, here we go. We got some in there. So they're pretty much the same, aren't they? If I could lower the pressure on this side, what do you think would happen? That would go up. That would go up. And if I increase the pressure on this side, then that would go up. That would go up. Yeah. And if I lower the pressure, goes down, right? So now you know, I got the concept down that we could take the end of our tube and put it on one side of that balloon or the other. We might see some of that action right there. Increase, decrease, increase, decrease. And we could find the high and low pressure areas. Now this is called a manometer, say manometer. Manometer. Yeah, it's a manometer. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave you two at it, right? You're gonna build a what? A manometer. A manometer using the stuff on the table, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're not gonna mess up my table. Well, with no promises. promises. No, don't mess up my table now. Well, gentlemen, I am quite impressed with your work. Matter of fact, I asked our power wit Godwin to stop by. You know, he's a physics major. So show me how you made it. Take your finger there and point it out. What did you do? Well, so we took this board and Good then board. we attached all the piping yeah. up in this U shape. Yeah. Using these little pin things. It with uh, the pin things. The pin things. Stopped up one end with this. And we need to fill it with water. Yep, we haven't filled it up with the colored water yet. 
So hopefully if we get the balloon out here dancing around, we can take this wand and see a change to prove our point that the air pressure does change around that balloon. Man, that's pretty sweet, look at this. We got magnets on the back, look at there. That's pretty sharp. That way we can hang it up, right? So I guess we ought to try it. Let's just see if this thing works. We'll get that balloon. So if there's a change in air pressure, we should be able to see it. It might not be much of a change, but we're gonna be watching. So that you guys get that ball floating up there. And then I'm gonna take this wand and move it around the outside of the balloon. Got it? Okay, we'll wait till it comes down and I'm gonna take wand and put it right there and i'll go around to the bottom did you notice any changes yeah Whoop. definitely Bumble. on the sides and bottom there wasn't a ton of change on the top but yeah. on the sides and especially the bottom the bottom had a bunch of change this thing actually works the balloon's experiencing different pressures on different areas of the balloon. So it's staying right there in one spot and gravity's pulling down on it and the wind below is pushing up on it, but it's not moving sideways or up. It's staying right there because everything's, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Go to the side and then go up to the top. Three. Yeah, that's how I definitely saw. So do we prove our point? I think so. Everybody take your right hand, reach over and pat yourself on the back. We did good. And if people would want to see more of this, what would they do? Go to YouTube. They'd go to YouTube. Or Instagram. Yeah. Or, or on TikTok too. TikTok too. Facebook. Facebook. Or Patreon. Patreon. And the county jail. And the county and jail. And the county jail. But you know the motto of a wizard, don't you? Always arrested, never convicted. That's yep. what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll see you later. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.